You just can't make this stuff up. Can't make this up. A 13-year-old girl violently attacked inside a fast food restaurant. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Amy Johnson. And I'm Juan Fernandez. The teen says the beating was sudden and surprising. Yeah, she spoke with KCAL News reporter Rachel Kim about the terrifying ordeal. It was all about surviving and making sure that I was not in. I find it funny how nobody's doing anything, but you know, let's continue. Injured in the worst way possible. 13 year old Cassidy Jones explains what was racing through her mind as she endured a vicious beating by a woman she doesn't even know at this Harbor City McDonald's. People there watched and recorded what Cassidy calls an unprovoked attack. I'm glad she said people watched and recorded. Nobody did anything. Seems kind of cowardly to me. Now, if these are nothing but kids in the crowd, I can't really, you know, get mad at the kids for standing around. But, you know, if this is your friend, I think they should have probably could have did something. I mean, they're, it's, they're 13. I know somebody in that crowd got hands. But what about the older people at McDonald's? I know there were some older folks at McDonald's that could have stepped in and did something, right? Let's continue. Very horrific. Very bad. Cassidy tells us she and two classmates stopped at this McDonald's on their way home from school on September 6. She says when she stepped out of the restroom, the unidentified woman immediately made eye contact with her and cornered her. The lady, she was like, um, what the F are you looking at? I fight kids. I fight you. I said, can you get your hand on my face? She moves it closer. And that's when I go like this. And then she grabs me and she starts manhandling me. And it's like, I didn't do anything. She gets in her face and says, what the F you looking at? I fight kids. Hands all in the face. And, and what kind of reaction were you expecting, uh, lady? For her to just let you put your hand in her face? I mean, come, I mean, come on now, bro. This lady knew what she... This lady is clearly under demonic possession, right? She knew what she was doing. She wanted to take out her frustration on a child, bro. That's all that was. That's all that was. Just a wicked, evil person. Let's continue. The eighth grader said when she asked the woman to let her go, the woman tightened her grip. For me, the only way um, I got her to let go of me was to hit her, and that's when she started um, punching me in my face, and she tried swinging me. She was grabbing me by my hair and stuff, and then she yanked me to the floor, like swung me like a rag doll. The attack ended when a man who was with the woman pulled her off of Cassidy. The teen was left with cuts, bruises. The dude who with her weak. He's a weak man. Let's make that very clear. He let that woman get so many hits on this young 13 year old. Both of them should be in jail. Both of them. Imagine, let me play the video a little bit more. It's swelling to her face and emotional trauma. I could not. Imagine your daughter coming home to you with your face, I mean with her face looking like this. I know for a fact, if you have a heart like mine, you'd be on a manhunt the same minute. Let's continue. Believe it. I'm thinking it had to be an animal that would attack a 13 year old, you know, someone mentally disturbed. Angelina Gray was. That's exactly what she was an animal. Not a human being. No, 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 no. No, an animal. Okay, that's exactly what that lady was. It's heartbroken to see her daughter, a 4.0 honor roll student, beaten up so badly. She's outraged and is hoping someone will identify the woman in the video. She should go to jail. Okay. She, sh she should lose her children. Okay. And any job that she has, she should lose that as well. If anyone knows this lady. 
Listen, definitely. She should definitely lose her job. She should go to jail. Or the streets should handle it. <laughs> lose her job, yes. Go to jail. Or the streets should handle it. Let's continue. Please turn her in. The LAPD says no arrests have been made so far, but the woman will face child abuse and battery charges. I would just ask her why. That's it. There's no excuse. Rachel Kim, KK. No, no, ma'am. No, mother. No, mother. Uh, don't even ask why. There is no reason, okay? There is no reason. Some people are just demonic, evil, and need to be locked away. There's no, you cannot reason with an animal, okay? That's what she is. So no, don't even ask her why. I just hope, you know, justice gets served. <laughs> Cal News. Our deputy. Yeah, so with that being said, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring awareness to this situation. Uh, I was tagged uh, on TikTok about this situation, um, and I thought I would look into it. This is absolutely uh, insane, sick, and maybe we need to start arming our youth with, uh, you know, weapons as well. Because, you know, people out here have lost their mind. We talk about protect kids, right? We need to protect the kids. But now it's just getting dangerous to where we got to tell kids to protect themselves as well. We just have to. That's the world we live in. It's only going to get worse. Do what you can. That being said, man, I hope you and your kids, if you're watching this and you have kids, I hope y'all have a great night. I hope y'all stay safe. I hope y'all wake up in the morning. And I hope you are covered throughout the night. In Jesus' name. Okay? Y'all have a good night. Stay safe out there.